from 9 degrees south to 27 degrees north. We have seen the reef of the world and compared regions from the warmth of the tropics to the subtropics. We dive and we study the coral reef. And in all places, we contribute to education, science and conservation. We build coral nurseries so it become a centralized learning place so that we could apply non-destructive methods to rehabilitate reefs. As we are working in a diverse geographical setting, we make adjustments to our conservation systems. But there is one thing that remains unchanged. This is our code of ethics. My name is Anwar Abdullah and I am the founder of Ocean Quest Global. I worked in this field on and off since 1981. Throughout this time, I learned that conservation practices can sometimes be detrimental to the environment. I call this abusive conservation. When we founded Ocean Quest in 2010, we put ethics in the forefront of our conservation. Our ethical standards dictate our commitment to the environment, meaning that every step of our engagements must not contribute to the destruction of one environment or the conservation of another. For this reason, we reject the use of artificial material in ocean conservation. Instead, we research and use organic approach to reef rehabilitation. Our commitment to education is to make the knowledge and skill universally available. Only by this approach, we can harness the power of the people in reef rehabilitation to make learning fun, enjoyable and available to all levels of the society. Our commitment to science means that we must embark in a journey of discovery where we apply multidiscipline sciences to create and solve environmental problems. The span of our work is from biology to the highest technology we can afford. Our commitment to humanity means that we must respect the rights of all to live from and by the ocean. We refrain ourselves from conflict and thrive in guiding people towards sustainability. And in fulfilling this, we must lead by example. <laughs>